is up my babies welcome back to another video if you're new to this channel welcome my name is esther and thank you so much for tuning in in today's video before we get started you guys already know the drill go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy subscribe if you're new to this channel and also hit that notification bell so that you're always notified when your girl uploads so in today's video you guys i achieved this beautiful okay bridal approved drugstore affordable yes i said it drugstore and affordable look for y'all you don't have to go break the bank just to get your face looking snatched for your wedding day period okay i love how everything turned out listen you your girl got somebody to do her makeup for her wedding me right here oh hi and i'm second guessing myself because i feel like i could do my own makeup why am i playing why am i playing because this look turned out like a whole bride like i look like a whole bride right now and it looks, it looks so bomb so yeah my loves in this tutorial i'm gonna also be using some new and old products that you guys have seen and have not seen i love how everything turned out the foundation it's definitely new to me and I, I am um, just like mind blown because look how flawless. Let me come close. Like look how flawless my face is looking. Like I look skin tuned. I don't need to use face tune to edit nothing because I feel like it just edit the whole damn face, period. But let's go ahead and get started. You guys already know the drill. Grab yourself a snack, tea, get comfortable. Today I didn't have no tea. I just had water. I had to drink my agua today, but let's go ahead and slay and play with some makeup. Ay. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my brows in this video. It's going to be a whole full face, so I definitely wanted to show y'all what I do on my brows, even though you guys see my brow routine all the time. Why not do it again, <laughs> okay? Um, I did find my NYX, my NYX brow pencil. I think I told you guys on the Valentine's makeup tutorial that I couldn't find this, and out of nowhere... It was on top of my dresser. I was like, is there a ghost in this house? I have not gotten my brows done quite yet. I'm just gonna keep keep them like that. Keep them as natural as possible. I don't wanna, you know, get them done because they take too much hair and I ain't got time. And also, I am rocking lash extensions. I don't know if I told you, no, I did tell you guys that on my previous video. I have lash extensions. I am gonna go, um, I am gonna get a feel on Saturday. So you guys, I'm gonna vlog that, okay? Because I know y'all are curious to see you know how I get them done this is going to be my second time getting them done again but this is going to be a, like a feel um, I'm so so excited because honestly you guys I love lash extensions at first I was like ooh, they're kind of hard to maintain but I'm gonna show you guys how I maintain them too in that video when I vlog it but right now they need a fill because some spots are missing so I want to bring that back to life on Saturday <laughs> but I couldn't wait like I had to record this video for you guys so I'm gonna come close oh you know my skin is let me tell y'all my skin is dry don't come for me it's literally crusty like y'all thought I'd be playing when I said my skin be crusty out here dry dry <laughs> so to fill in my eyebrows I'm gonna take this NYX micro brow pencil in the shade espresso um this this is bomb okay you don't need a high-end pencil to achieve a brow look i usually grab nyx or ColourPop. you know they're both bomb so i'm just gonna start filling in my brows like so and also i'm just following my arch of my brows where my brow starts and where it ends That looks really really nice i'm not even gonna grab a dark brown eyeshadow because i felt like that filled it in pretty good okay i'm going to the other side i don't know why like, my skin goes through a phase, sometimes it's like stupid dry, like cracking and just like right now. And then some days it's, you know, dry but not like crusty dry. <laughs> Today is crusty dry, Esther, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost Gel. And this is the Extra Dry Skin, my favorite product ever, 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 ever. Just moisturize this. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
That feels so good. Girl. It's like the extra dry skin is thicker too. Mm. But it goes in, it goes on very light. So yeah. My lips are dry, so I'm gonna just go ahead and grab my Carmax. And this is a brand new Carmax. Y'all know. Y'all know when you get a brand new Carmax, it feels it feels good, okay? Because I feel like I lose my Carmax so much. It's crazy. But I go through these a lot throughout the year because I lose them too much. <laughs> I'm going to be using a lot of new products in this makeup tutorial as well, so <laughs> wish me luck. Um, for the first product that is new to me is this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Creamy Concealer. I've seen this concealer a lot every time I go to Ulta, so I decided to grab myself a concealer from them. Um, I'm excited, okay, because the applicator is so nice. I love these kind of applicators. They're kind of cute. Um, so, yeah, so this is in the shade uh, Dark 145W. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my brows with this shade, and I'm also going to conceal throughout the whole video. I felt like this shade is, you know, a little perfect um, because you guys know I like my shades, uh, my concealer shades, two shades, at least two, two shades lighter than my normal concealer. Um, cause I like that, you know, under eye brightening, um, you guys can tell I do have dark circles. Now they're not as bad as they used to be. I toned them down with sleep. Okay. Eye cream. Oh, speaking of eye cream, let me rewind a little bit because I don't have an eye cream that is affordable. I haven't tested out a lot of drugstore products um, for eye cream. I'm going to use one of my favorite. This is the Ole Hanekson eye cream. Um, this is the banana bright eye cream. So scratch this part. You can use an affordable eye cream, but if you have dark circles, puffiness, I would advise you to put some eye cream underneath your eyes daily, morning and night. It kind of uh, minimizes the dark circles and the puffiness under the eyes. Let me go ahead and just clean up my brows, make them look a little bit decent. Alright you guys, so I have blended the concealer and added the concealer on my eyelids like so and everything is looking pretty good. So for primer, I'm going to grab this ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This is new to me. I've seen a lot of people use this. Um, every time I go to Ulta, I want to try it out, but it's always gone. And you guys know I'm not a big fan of ordering things. If I can get it out Ulta, that'll be better. Um, now this does say hydrating, so <laughs> works perfect. And it does have hyaluronic acid, even better. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pump some on my hands. Oh yeah. Okay, it does feel really hydrating. I like using a lot of primer. Just because that's like my preference, um, a primer is a base before your foundation. So I, I just feel like when I put more primer, my foundation looks really, really flawless. And my foundation is not like sitting on my skin. Oh, you guys, so next up, I'm going to grab this Milani Soft Focus Glow. This is just going to give me a nice little glow underneath my foundation. Um, now, to be honest, I've realized as a bride, you should go very, very minimum with the highlight. Something more natural. So I feel like when I go in with this and then apply my foundation and stuff, it's still going to give me like a nice, you know, a nice little highlight underneath my foundation. So then I don't have to go heavy handed with my highlight if that's the look you're going for. And that is the look I'm going for for a bride. Going to apply. I'm not gonna blend it in with this little brush, y'all. Trust me. And also right here, you can put this all over your face. I do, um, or you can just put it, you know, the points where you usually highlight, and you want that glow to like pip in. I want to look like I'm glowing everywhere, so I'm gonna just blend it in with my hands. Your hands should be your best friend when you apply makeup. Don't be afraid to use your hands, your fingers, like just play around with makeup. Okay, so it is time for foundation. I'm trying out this new Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. Um, and this is a hydrating foundation. I, You guys, I promise y'all I was not trying to aim for everything hydrating. <laughs> 
I was not going for that, but every product that I have in front of my face, I feel like it's all hydrating this, hydrating that. So, um, so yeah, so I want to test this out. I'm going to grab my beauty blender and just start working this all in. Okay, the shade is not terrible. Shade is good, shade is good, shade is good. Now, in case you're curious, I just added two pumps of this foundation. I mean, it's not bad, actually. This is how the foundation is looking. I like it, it looks really nice. It looks really, really good. Like, I love the finishing look. Oh, that looks pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna grab this ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Concealer. And this is what I'm going to just use to highlight all the points that I would normally highlight. I'm gonna add a little bit right here on top of my lip and then also on this side. Now, I love that highlighting look. So that's what I'm going for. Now, if you're not about that life, just grab a concealer that's your shade or one shade brighter. I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and just blend this concealer in. I will be honest, I don't know how I feel about this concealer quite yet. Like, I really don't. I think I had to like play with it, wear it a little bit more, you know, see how uh, how I feel. I do own the other ColourPop concealer. I forgot, I think it's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. That I love, that I love a lot. This, I just need to probably, you know, use it a little bit more so then I can really tell y'all how I feel about it. This concealer is super bright, but we got the contour to tone it a little bit down. Uh, so for contour, I'm gonna grab the same concealer, different shade, and this is in the shade Dark 205N, Deep Dark 205N. And I'm just going to contour with this bad boy. Make everything look a little slimmer, honey. Baby. I have a feeling that I'm just going to snatch the heck out of my nose today. It's just a good day to snatch the nose. I just have a feeling. I'm gonna blend everything in. Now, all the brushes that I'll be using will be in the description box. So, yeah, check that out. Because I use pretty much the same brushes for everything, I will be honest. I don't really search out my brushes because I have, like, the best brushes for everything. But I'm just gonna, like, blend everything in. You guys see how contouring my face just like toned down that highlight so nice that's why I'm never afraid to use like concealer that's like a couple shades lighter because once I contour I feel like it just tones it down more and it looks really really sculpted and just snatched and then I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender and just Blend everything in one more time. So for setting powder, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I haven't used this in such a long time. Like, I feel so bad. I feel like I neglected you, baby. You were like my ride or die for the longest. This bad boy has lasted me a long time. Uh, well, I got a new one. <laughs> but I've used this product for the longest since I started wearing makeup. This has been my first affordable products to set underneath my eyes with and you know now it's just like when new products come you start neglecting the old <laughs> but we just gonna set under I don't bake you guys at all I just set so baking is like one of those techniques that I really do not care for at all so what I do is just grab the powder and I just set and the reason why I like Sasha because look at that it sets really nice really smooth and it gives me like a yellow undertone which I love y'all see that bomb just bomb I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side I'm just going to take the same brush that I blended my concealer with and just set on top of my eyelid so that concealer does not move because obviously I will be rocking eyeshadow today. So we don't want that concealer to go anywhere. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this Milani um, Sun Drenched 
Silk Matte Bronzer Powder, and this is in the shade 04. This is probably the darkest shade that they have, sadly. I'm gonna go ahead and set where I contoured. And mind you guys, this is a little bit red, but I don't mind that. Tap. And I also my chin, my neck, my chin, whatever. There it is. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Makeup Obsession. Um, isn't it peachy blush? I feel like this blush is per per perfect. Okay, for this look. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab this two shades right here and just tap, tap off the excess. And just like it's not too much, it's subtle, it's very, very pretty. This is like before the blush, after the blush. It's so nice. Boom, bomb. Okay, so I'm gonna hold off on the highlight until the end of this video. You guys know I don't. I don't put highlight on until I finish the whole look. It's just, I don't know, it's just something I prefer. It's weird. Um, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to grab this Nude Mood Eyeshadow. And this is from ColourPop. Super pretty. Like, come on. This is so bridal. Like, you can't even tell me this is not bridal. This is bridal AF, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade right here as my transition shade. And just start working this all over my crease. And honestly, when I blend in my crease shadow, I don't put a lot of pressure on my hand. I lightly blend this eyeshadow into the crease very, very light. Y'all, can y'all believe that I do not own much ColourPop eyeshadow palettes? The only palette that I own from ColourPop, other than this one, is the Makeup Shayla X ColourPop, both of her palettes. And it's crazy, but I didn't feel like using that today because... You know, I wanted to try something different and new, um, like a different eyeshadow from ColourPop, but I like ColourPop a lot. Their eyeshadow palettes are always bomb, and they're so affordable, it's like insane. So now I'm going to grab this shade right here, and just work this into my crease as well. Go ahead and grab this eyeshadow right here I'm gonna just pack it on my outer corner more and bring it in my inner corner I'm gonna go ahead and grab the same eyeshadow and just work this on my water lash line I'm gonna go back into this palette and mix these two eyeshadows together just to like work into that crease because I felt like it disappeared on us. Now you guys, this eyeshadow look is so easy, but yeah, it looks so, so flawless. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this shadow right here and just pop it in the inner corner, not too much, and then I'm gonna add this gold eyeshadow um, across the whole, pretty much the whole entire eyelid. That's my plan. So let me grab this shadow right here. It's going to, wow. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Surprisingly, I don't wanna use too much of this eyeshadow, honestly. I just wanna use it a little bit. Um, Let's see, how far, how far can I go? I think that's good, that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this gold. I just flipped the brush. I'm gonna use the same brush because I feel like this brush is really, really nice. And just add the rest of that eyeshadow to the other part of the eyelid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dark brown eyeshadow. Well, at least it's the darkest brown in this palette. And just work this on my outer corner.
So last, I'm gonna grab this brown eyeshadow and just work this on my water lash line a little bit higher because I don't want it like too low to be with the um with that like dark red eyeshadow, that burgundy. I love how this is like all drugstore. Like that's what I'm like, yes. So beautiful, yet so affordable. So for highlight, I'm gonna grab this ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek um, Highlighter. I think that's the shade, but I seen this and I was like, oh, this is beautiful. Like, it is so creamy. And I was like, this is gonna melt into my skin like butter. Oh, so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're just going to apply this on my the points where I usually highlight. I, you know, I'm gonna try the brush first, then I'm gonna try my hands, see which one works, or even my beauty blender. You know what, let me probably try the beauty blender first. Let ooh, ooh, that's a lot, that's a lot. So, I'm not gonna grab the beauty blender. Let me grab the brush, see if I can have as much control. So I really don't wanna add too much highlight today, you guys. So for lips, I'm gonna grab this uh, NYX lip liner and this is in the shade Downtown Beauty. So for lips, I'm gonna grab this ColourPop um, lipstick in the shade Quickie and I think this is the collaboration with Makeup Shayla. This is such a beautiful like pink nude and it's gonna go really, really well with this look. Love it. Just gonna put this on my lips. Now to top it off today, I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss, okay? Now, the me that I know I am, I'm, I would leave it like this, really, really pretty, but just to have a little bit of fun, I'm gonna grab this Morphe gloss. Now this is my first time using any Morphe glosses ever, and I am mad at myself because I don't understand why, um, but this is in the shade Froze. I'm just going to top it off with me. Now last but not least, I'm gonna grab this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Now, you guys, this setting spray is bomb. This will be my second time using it. First time I used it, I really, really liked it because it gave me like a more luminous, dewy uh, skin. Now it kinda does remind me of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy uh, Setting Mist in a way because, you know, this is just the cheaper version, but it, it really does it remind me of it. I'm gonna just spray a little bit out, make sure the the little bottle is all right and just all right my loves i'm gonna go ahead and go change fix my hair do something i might keep it like this i don't know um this is really really pretty but i'm gonna just go change into something a little bit nicer like my top or something like that so yeah i'll be right back y'all i'm so so in love with this look like this is bridal appropriate like wow <laughs> Oh my god, this is so bridal appropriate. Like, this is bridal. Baby, so this is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Leave me a nice little comment down below, okay? Because I am sure to comment back, alrighty? As usual, I love you guys so, so, so much. Now, Panasana, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in my next video.